Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bridge School Diary. Hi everyone. It's so relaxing here, isn't it? Indeed. Can you smell the sea? Yeah, can you hear the waves? Yeah. Well, we've been quiet for a while, but we're ready to get back on track. Just kidding, we are here. Always been. So, today we are celebrating World Photography Day. And Roberto Zina, one of our advanced students, is going to talk about his passion for photography and he's going to share some precious tips um, with you on how to take great pics. Exactly. Tell us something about your passion for photography. Well, my passion for photography started when I was uh, 12, I suppose. But I actually took it seriously at the start of 2020 because um, I saw my my camera uh, like standing there alone in the <coughs> in the living room and so I took it and I thought well I could use it some sometimes and I started uh, taking pictures and then I got interested and started studying actual theory of light colors and composition and then I'm here and I am um, and I do it mostly as a passion, not as a job. I'm an amateur, but I, I think it will, I, I think it will last long. Great. Really. Tell us about your favorite theme. Do you have a topic? Do you like? I love everything about photography. Like every genre is uh, beautiful in its own way. I personally prefer two in particular. One is the is portrait, so people, mm -hmm. and another one is street photography, which is basically going out with your camera alone or with, or with friends and taking pictures whenever you see one. Um, and the the beauty about street photography is that it's really the essence of photography because you. Uh, you freeze the moment you want to capture and that's the the beauty of it what's your best picture uh i don't know uh, like i usually i do not like classify them but there's one recently that i took that i really like and i was uh, in milazzo and i was hiking with my father and i always have my camera in the in the backpack so i was we were we were on a cliff edge and there was the sunset right and in Milazzo you can see the uh, uh, the islands on the horizon. So there was like the sunset on the on the left, the the island on the right, and then uh, um, seagull came in, and 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 uh, like a uh, few uh, in front of the camera, and I and I took the picture, and it came out great, and it's one of my best, if not the best. Sounds amazing. And can you share some tips on how to take good pictures? Yes. Uh, well, for first someone who's just starting and first of all, the the equipment doesn't matter at all. Like you can start even with your phone. There's really no problem. And uh, first of all, the biggest tip that I can give to someone is just practice because. Um, Photography, it's uh, um, te it's only technical. Mm -hmm. If the more you practice, the better you get. Obviously, you have to study, but if you want to start soft and light, just take pictures whenever you want and whenever you feel like. And uh, the second is consider editing because a photograph, uh, a pho a photograph, sorry, is fifty percent and seventy percent when you take the picture and 30% when, when you edit it. Right. Editing means uh, trying to fix the lights, the colors, to make it, to, to take out the most from the picture. And, uh, I, um, and I suggest using Lightroom, the mobile app, mm -hmm. for that, because it's the easiest. And Lightroom. Lightroom, yes. Okay, sounds great. How do you think we could celebrate this World Photography Day? I suppose we could start by sharing our like best picture of the summer. 
I love the idea. And to do that, I think we should use an hashtag. And mm -hmm. so hashtag share it with the bridge. So please post on our Instagram um, your best picture. It could be this summer, it could be your previous experiences, whatever you like, share it with us and uh, hashtag share it with the bridge. Thank you for being here with us. You're welcome, thank you. Thank you. See you soon. See you.